Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is histogram on Tableau. Likert scale. Why Likert scale? Because it's so easy to build a histogram on Tableau. And by the way, we have a video about it. And the video is in our video description. However, when we go through Likert scale, it goes to a mess. But we can fix it. And it's quite easy to fix it, by the way. So, uh, what is the problem? To build a, a histogram, we need to find the number of classes, the class length, that is easy. Non-overlapping classes of equal width, okay. Tally and count, okay. And graph, okay. But what about the number of classes? On Likert scale, that is easy, that is straightforward. It is the number of points. If we are working with five points scale, the number of classes will be five. If we are working with three points, it will be three. Seven will be seven. And so on. So the number of classes is good. However, tells Tableau about that. Uh, it is a mess. And then the rectangle represent the classes. The base, the class length, one, two, three, four, five, for instance, only five points. And the high represents the frequency. So let's go to our Excel file and let's take a look at our data. So it is a survey here, uh, some anonymous answers, 37 answers, and a five points Likert scale. And so on four questions. Uh, this is an, an, an actual survey by the way, with some of my students. Uh, so how do we do the histogram? So let's open our Tableau, oops, our Tableau here, and let's see what we have. So Excel, histogram on Tableau, here we are. We have only one sheet, so we don't need to drag anything here. Sheet one. So let's do the histogram for the question number one. So question one on row, uh, only one column, but we don't have the sum, we have the count. If we go and count this thing here, we have only until five. So nope, number of counts. However, where are the Classes, no classes. If you go to any community on Tableau, they will tell you, go and show me. And here we have the histogram. Boop, it's done. The histogram is accurate. If we go here, for instance, for the number four, we have 18 answers. Number three, seven. Number two, four. Number one, three. Number five, five. But look at the axes here. What a mess because Tableau works with continuous variables. Here, this one is not 1.7, it's one. This one is two, this one is three, this one is four, this one is five. So how do we fix it? First, delete this histogram. No histogram. How do we do with that? So this is the trick, this is the magic. Go on the question one and duplicate it. Now we have a copy. Move this copy to dimension. And then dimension will go to column. One, two, three, four, five. Let's instead of sheet one, let's go to question one. Question one. And then ah, we have these spaces, these blank spaces here. That is another trick. How do we fix it? Again, if you go to Google or to Tableau Help, it will tell you, go to format, cell size, wider. Whoa, it's widening everything, not only the bar. Format, cell size, bigger, the same. So no. So here, how do we fix it? Go on size, and then we go to the top. Here is our histogram. 
This question won't copy. We can delete it. We don't need it, so hide it. Count of question one. We don't need it. That is how much we are counting. So double click, title, delete it. We are good to go. And we want to label it. So question one, label. Oh, 72, but it's 18. Something bad happened. It is not the sum. It is the count. Histogram for question number one. However, I want to see a dashboard with my four histogram. First of all, we cannot create four histogram on, on one sheet. No, it will mess everything. So let's go to the second one. Question two. And then question two here. Instead of sum, count. Question two on label. It is not the sum. It is a count. Size. Let's already go to the maximum one. And let's see what happened. So now we need to create the histogram. So question two. Duplicate and move the copy here and the copy here. Histogram. And then here, right click, okay? Hide, double click on axis, delete it. And if we are going to add all of them in only one dashboard, working with the same color will not be good. So let's change the color here. Let's go to the Brazilian flag. That is my home country. Green, green, yellow, and blue. So here, now question three. The same question three here. Let's move to count. And we can, the steps doesn't matter. So now I am doing the Opposite here, and then hide, double click, hide, delete, sorry. Now the label, not sum, but count. Let's change the color. Let's go on yellow, and then the size. Let's go to the maximum. So we have the question number three, and then the last one, the question number four. Let's come here. We can already duplicate it. Come here, duplicate it. So five, but here is the sum, 130. We don't want the 130. Uh, we want to move it to count. Hide this one, double click, delete. And then on the dashboard, we can go and double check if everything is right and is accurate. Okay, size and color. No more colors for Brazilian flag. So let's go on pink. My daughter loves pink. So pink it is. And now, oops, the label for question number four. And again on count. So, okay, let's see now our dashboard. And then let's name it histogram. Whoa, the title is not here. The titles are here, but not now. On dashboard, that is not the default. So if you want to show the title, dashboard, uh, show title. Here, histogram, and let's center. I love centering titles. And now let's move them and let's draw our dashboard. Question one is here. Question two. To the side, here, question number three, to the bottom, here, let's move myself here again. And question number four, here, here we are. However, we can make it better. See the size of the bars, they are not on the same scale. Here, this 26 is almost the same size as this 13, because our axes are not on the same scale. So let's add the same scale. We can go back on each sheet or we can do it here. So this is the largest one. So double click and let's see the scale. Minimum zero, maximum 30. Let's do it to the other ones. 
Double click. Now on fix it because we cannot change it here. Fix it. 30. Close it. Now 36 is the double of 13. Very good. Here again. Fix it. Almost there. 27. 30. A little bit down. That is what we want. And here, 18 is not greater than 23. So double click it, fix it, 30. Oh, now they are pretty. Now we can move it to our paper and it will be awesome. If you wanna center these titles, just double click and center. I love centering titles, so. So you can export it. How do you do that? File, export as PowerPoint, and then it will paste like a picture. So if we do that, this view, let me go on my download, save book one, okay, already exists. And let me open it here on a PowerPoint. So it will be book one and then this one, I can copy or I can cut it and paste anywhere. I can paste it on my uh, Word file or whatever, or keep it here for a presentation and so on. So that is our histogram, and this is our original one. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Please subscribe to our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. Uh, questions or comments, just leave it here or email me, okay? Have a very nice day and God bless you.